Okay, welcome back and let's uh, address this last lecture of this module five. So this is about data conversion and ASCII binary format. Okay, so when it comes to data conversion means converting open phone data, okay, data structure to another data structure. Okay, so that means that you can convert it and then use another program to post-process data. So it can be, there are many utilities a few utilities to do that so for instance you can convert the data from data to fluent format to inside format okay i really like this program inside it's very powerful okay but we have already part of you that we can use you can convert to tab plot another very powerful uh, visualization uh, program uh, you have btk format and this format i don't recall these two i don't recall what they are they are then you have gmv I think this this is a visualization program, but it's already already dead. It's the phone, okay? It's not in use anymore. So basically, what you do is convert open phone to that 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 data format, okay? So the way to use is just call this 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 utility, and then it will com convert your solution. You can run in parallel. You can use the time auction. It's up to you. I'm going just to show you how to to do that okay so very often front end well probably we're already familiar with this btk format that in some cases we converted we, we were reading btk okay so i'm going to show you this one and probably this inside and then the other thing that i want to mention is about ascii and binary format and conversion so so far all the cases that we have run you have seen that here the right format it is in ascii ascii means that the file is human readable you can open it. But if you save it in binary, it's now in machine language, so you cannot read it, okay? It's not human readable. So what is the difference? The difference is that is you use binary files, the data parsing is much faster, okay? You are going to get some speed up, but also the file size is smaller. So in theory, it's better to run always in binary, okay? I didn't, I'm not running in binary, these cases, because they are small and it doesn't make much of a difference but if you are running large cases my advice it is run always in binary put it in binary so if you have a case that is in ascii you can convert it to binary just you have this new application utility command you know, just type there form format convert for instance you have the file in ascii you open control d put here binary and you can convert it to binary or if you have it in binary and you want to go back to ASCII, just put here ASCII and then you convert it. Then the problem with, with much, uh, binary format or machine language is that that file, you cannot read it, you cannot modify. So from time to time, it might happen that you want to open one file to change something. Okay, so you, you do this conversion. But, but my advice is you're running large cases, please use binary format because it makes a difference okay it will make a difference and sure about that so let's see this data conversion so i stay in the same folder as the previous one not the supersonic wedge and just to show you for instance phone to let's say inside and always remember when i introduce a new command for an info and there you have some options okay you can also go font inside help and you have there a basic hell and the same will be to btk okay minus hell okay and here so basically see that i can say to btk when you convert it to btk it will create this new folder btk so let me erase it and let me go latest time so it's converting the latest time to BTK format. You can do also the same in inside. So see that now you have the folder inside and you can open it. So that is another, another format. You can do phone data to fluent. It will be the same latest time okay and it will convert okay so it, this one it will read this dictionary okay so let's see phone info okay so it's giving you some information and here okay let me open a new window 
so ls system okay so let's copy that dictionary okay let's see what happens so see that you know that you have it located there let me go in system okay you have now the dictionary there so see that that phone info is, is very helpful because it's also telling you the location then you get the file that you are missing and you put it here and see that basically here you see you you, you tell what are the, f <clears throat> the files that you want to to save i guess no the, the fields that you want to save so let's see what happens if i try to run okay so it converted ptu uh let's see that if if i put could and let's see so i put this okay so you just need to give there the form and now you give the the field that you have in your solution and it will convert it so as you go there you have to see that you have fluent interface and there you're going to have here the that file this is something that you open with fluent okay so this is data conversion okay uh something that as well just to mention that uh this part of phone format open phone format sorry it's not the best format it's not very fast so all this format inside fluent and vtk are, are much faster than open phone okay when parsing data when post-processing with with PowerView, it's much faster okay but it is okay now use the use the open form but this is a basis you have very large cases maybe might be a good idea to use btk or something something else okay the other thing that i wanted to mention that is you go for instance in let me go in 100 in this folder and if i open the file p see that this file is human readable see that you have all those numbers so this is ascii file okay but if you save this file in binary okay to save it in binary you go here in control did and see that all my cases here or everything is it is in ascii but because there are a small cases but if you are working large cases my advice use binary format so if you want to convert it from ascii to binary you go phone format convert and that's it it's converting everything to binary so see that as you open now p the file is much now it's not human readable all those numbers that you saw previously you cannot see however it's important that the, the header and some keywords still you can find still you can modify that so as you go here like look for type if you want to change something of this keywords you, you is able to modify that okay but all the numbers all the data everything is, is is now in machine language the same will be for the mesh so by the way important when you convert it to binary these files everything that you have in system remains in ascii format okay here you are not converting anything to binary everything there remains in ascii the only thing that goes into binary is your solution and the mesh okay so for instance you go now in mesh uh, constant poly mesh and for instance faces oops so that everything is in machine language okay however the boundary file that one remains in ascii still you can modify that so this is very important okay so you can convert it you can convert it to binary but the boundary this boundary file remains in ascii so you can change these names and the type okay so if i want to go now i want to go back to ascii now just just go here control d put here ascii and then full on format convert um off you go so if you open now whoops let me open again now the previous file this one piece see that now you are back into human readable format okay so just to show you that and as i said just go for binary for large cases small cases it doesn't make much of a difference uh all this source code and just to revisit of these tools you you go phone utilities here applications utilities post-processing 
here you have data conversion okay so all this you have it there so I think let, let's say uh, what is this mat I don't recall I have never used it okay star CD that is an old format I have to say and GMV this doesn't exist anymore this program that used to be an old program GMV so this program is likely let's see this post processor doesn't exist anymore if I will recall and let's see yeah did is I don't know why they have it have it there well any case probably some people still use it so this is what this is not the the data conversion okay so at this point I think we are done with uh, with the most important part of, of, of model 5 now post processing okay then I will prepare some other videos but those are the supplements so you are not you don't need to follow that that is just additional information as you see things can get very complicated and can be very time consuming so okay thank you very much for your attention and see you next videos bye